Hey, welcome to Entrepreneur Ask an Expert. This is Mike Koenigs. I'm here today with Randy Stanbury. He is the founder and president of Four Level Coach. They're an organization that helps custom home builders work on their businesses instead of in their businesses so they can scale, they can grow, and even sell someday. Thanks for being here, Randy. Thanks for having me, Mike. Appreciate it. All right. So why don't you talk a little bit about um, the industry, the custom home building industry, and the problems that these people are having and what you're doing to help solve these problems and make it go away. Love to. Um, first of all, the custom home building uh, industry here in Canada alone is, you know, several billion dollars uh, represents a mass, mass amount of, uh, of jobs. Uh, it's one of the biggest employers uh, in the country, actually, when we get into the home building market. Um, and what we have found is that every custom home builder is going through a lot of the same challenges. And one of them being, that they're just inundated with issues and constant um, challenges on the job, on the job site that they're being pulled into, and they are overwhelmed, frustrated, um, dealing with you know 60-hour work weeks plus, and just not having uh, the lifestyle that they had anticipated having when they started their business. And you know that excitement from the beginning is such that you know you're you're, you're going to have a lifestyle along with uh, you know, a multi-million dollar business, but that just is not the case. Right. And I know one of the things that you and I have talked about is the fact that the home builders are working with what they call trades. These are all the contractors. And at any given time, like how many contractors are typically working on a project or a job site with them that caused them innumerable challenges? Well, it's in, in the neighborhood at any, at any given time, you know, these builders have, you know, depending on the size of the builder, of course, but, you know, they have, you know, three, four, five, uh, maybe a dozen different builds going on at any one time. They have 20 to 30 contractors on any one of those projects. Um, some of those contractors, of course, spread out to multiple different jobs. Um, but you can imagine the complexity and the challenge. And if you're a homeowner out there, then, you know, we all know the challenges that we've had dealing with one contractor. You know, multiply that out and try to keep up with timing and scheduling and and keeping the end client happy throughout that build is, uh, you know, extremely challenging. And, you know, one thing we hear over and over is, you know, it's getting harder and harder to keep up with client expectations. Um, and those client expectations are getting you know, larger and more challenging as they, you know, watch these uh, TV shows and they see how builds are supposed to be done, supposed to be done, and their expectations have just gone through the roof over the last several years. So managing that has been another massive challenge for that builder. All right. So I think uh, one of the things that you've got multiple success stories, one of them is with Dave Bernstein. So why don't you talk a little bit about what Four Level Coach did with Dave and what he was struggling with before, what you did with him, and what life is like right now. So, yeah, Dave is uh, one of the coolest stories. I mean, first of all, this guy is uh, a highly effective implementer. He's an action taker, and he's basically taken everything that we've talked about and in our systems, and he's put that into his business, and it has totally changed his life. So when we first started working with Dave, and that this literally goes back six months ago. So we're not talking a long period of time here. Uh, when he came to me, he wanted to um, uh, double his business in the next two to three years. So doubling the business in the next two to three years seemed like a, a very reasonable uh, thing to be able to accomplish. In fact, uh, I wanted for him a 10x um, growth in either the same period of time or maybe in a five year to period of time. Um, he thought that was completely insane and impossible. But what we were able to do through putting in some simple systems through a uh, new mindset and implementing new people into his organization and leveraging those people's strengths, peeling him away from a lot of the stuff he shouldn't have had his hands in anyway, um, has um, completely transformed the business. In fact, in 90 days and literally 90 days to the day, I got a phone call that he had just crossed the threshold of doubling his, his revenue. Um, and that was like, okay, that, that's a serious, serious win for, for him and certainly a serious win for Four Level Coach and it's work that we do with him. Um, and on top of that, um, what he was most concerned about was him doubling the business. He just went through a growth, spear, uh, a growth spurt the year prior 
And that year prior was absolutely hell on him. And uh, what he didn't want or could not even fathom is doubling the business in a two to three year period, never mind a 90 day, and having any um, you know, life beyond that. So he, he was concerned about the frustration and overwhelm that was going to you know, come as a result of that sort of growth. The truth is, in that 90 day period and into our six month period now, he has more freedom than he's ever had in his business. Uh, he has more time now to actually focus on what's really important in the business for growth and um, and how I know this, and not just from him telling me, but how I know it is from our meetings. The first meeting I had with him, his phone went off, I don't know how many times in, in an hour and a half. Um, after uh, six months and we've had our last meeting, his phone's not going off at all in an hour and a half because things are being dispersed, delegated, looked after the way they should be in his organization and not all on his shoulders. So it's Very been good. pretty cool. That's awesome. And how about, now I know you've got your upcoming book, The Small Business Freedom Formula. I want you to show us that oh, right yeah. now. You've actually yeah. documented the process in there in seven steps. So why don't you talk a little bit about how what you did with Dave relates to what's in the book, because I know one of the things that you're doing is making your book available to people who read this article and watch this video. So why don't you share yeah. some of the principles behind there and, and how you implemented those in Dave's business and you're working with other clients and doing the same. Yeah, so so the book is called The uh, Small Business uh, Freedom Formula. Um, and the reason we use that title is because at the end of the day, I think we all want more freedom in our businesses. Um, sure, we want more money and we want more growth, but um, we don't want that um, along with you know less freedom and more overwhelm, more frustration. Um, we really want to be able to pull back and have a little freedom along the way. My belief is freedom only comes from growth. We can't stay the same and get freedom. Uh, so we have to be able to grow and develop the business. And the seven steps that you're referring to um, is the uh, first step is foundation. So we have to create a foundation for you as the entrepreneur in your business. If you don't have a strong enough foundation, your limiting beliefs are going to get in the way. If your desire is not deep enough, uh, your why is not strong enough. You're not going to be able to, you know, bust through the challenges that you're inevitably going to be faced with. I mean, 96% of businesses don't last past 10 years. There's a good reason for that. And at the end of the day, I think it, a lot of it comes down to desire. So we start with a really solid foundation. Uh, and step two is about execution. We are in our business executing everything all day long. Um, every day of the week, everyone in the business is executing something. Um, whether it's a new contract, a new deal, a marketing plan, it does not matter what it is, we are executing. So we have to um, learn how to execute at the highest level, and we have a formula for that in our step two. Uh, step three gets into clients. So who are the clients that we want? We have to get laser focused on the right clients for us. Um, how are we going to do our marketing? How are we going to do our sales process? How are we going to bring in uh, those clients, how are we going to onboard them and how are we going to improve the client experience throughout um, them working with us. So so client is number three. Number four, we get into teams. If we don't have teams, we cannot look after our clients properly. And if we don't have the best teams and through teams, we have to get into team development and building leaderships and building leaders within the company. Uh, and uh, step five gets into systems. If we don't have the right systems, this is probably, I feel like, well, they're all critical, but systems is really where the freedom starts coming from. If you don't have the systems in place to really generate uh, the efficiencies and effectiveness throughout the organization, you're just, you know, you're spinning your wheels, which we refer to and, you know, we've talked to you many times about being on the hamster wheel. So we can be on the hamster wheel, you know, running real hard, but we're not getting anywhere. And that's what too many businesses are doing without proper systems in place. So we get deep into systems in, uh, in that step. And in, in step six, we know that we're starting to generate some money. And now how are we going to look after that money? What about cash flow? What are we investing in? How are we utilizing that money to grow the business? And last in our step seven is all about um, uh, exit. So how do we then start pulling ourselves away, whether it's uh, one day at a time or hours at a time or a week at a time or two at a time? And, and it's not just pulling ourselves away so we can you know, throw our hands up and, and go lie on a beach. It's, it's 
Uh, and if you want to do that, then that's your prerogative. And that's obviously what people want to do too. But at the end of the day, um, being able to exit the day-to-day -day operation of the business is critical for its own growth. Um, you know, the business needs a leader, an entrepreneur, a visionary. And so ideally, you want to be able to pull yourselves away and create new leaders that can actually replace you in everything that you've been doing up to date. And when you think that you're the only one that can do the things that you're doing, um, you know, you want to correct yourself because you're completely wrong. Uh, many, many, many people out there can do a far better job than you and I can ever do in our own businesses if that's their sole focus and purpose. So uh, we have to learn to let go and uh, take that exit for the growth and really the exponential growth of the business. Now, one of the things that I think is important, you talked about exiting. Now, you've built and sold a business prior, and that's one of your outcomes when you're working with a builder is actually building a saleable asset. So why don't you talk a little bit about the business that you built and sold and why you're qualified to guide someone through the process of their business? Yeah, for sure. Um, so uh, in 1995, I started a business in my uh, bedroom, actually, um, myself, and, and uh, I brought my father in who was, uh, who was in sales for me. And together, uh, we really started a business uh, in the transportation logistics uh, industry. So, so we were moving freight across North America. Um, and, uh, you know, doing that from the beginning, I made lots and lots and lots of mistakes and realized very quickly that the only way out of the challenges that I was faced with, which was running on that hamster wheel, I was going a million miles an hour, but not getting anywhere. And really what I had to do was start leveraging people, was creating systems, was uh, was developing a far better sales pro process, uh, uh, bringing in more salespeople, bringing in marketing, leveraging people and creating leaders. And at the end of the day, um, when the business really started to take off, it was when I started to let go of more and more of what I was holding on to and what I thought I was great at. Um, and the truth is I was nowhere near as great as the people that came after me in those roles. And what I was really good at was developing systems and processes within the business, being a visionary leader, and uh, also developing other leaders to replace me and, and, uh, and go into roles that were far bigger and better for them than they ever would have if they didn't become what they became. So that was, you know, pretty exciting. And what I was able to do as a result of that and really following my seven steps, which I didn't realize I was, I created these steps. I was just doing them throughout the years. It was when I stepped back and realized that what I had actually been doing was exactly this. So um, I just created what I'd been practicing for many years. And, and what I had realized is I was able to exit that business and the last 10 years of the existence of the business before I sold it in 2017, literally the last 10 years, I had not spent one full day in the business. Um, the business was operating without me. It was successful without me. It was growing without me. Um, and really all that I need to do was look at the key metrics and what I needed to stay focused on, um, stay in touch with the leaders that we had in place and, uh, and pay them accordingly to look after the business properly. And, and I mean, that was a, a huge success, one that very few entrepreneurs, I think, experience. And when I realized that, I said, well, I, I, we really did something special here. And now we need to uh, take what we did and bring it to a market that I felt was um, a market that really, really needed this, an industry that really, really needed this. And uh, that's kind of how we um, uh, found our way into the contracting space, the home builder space, because uh, um, there was just a massive need for for this in this industry as far as I was concerned. Well, I think it goes to show, too, that um, you built a system that works in practically any industry or any business. And um, really, Four Level Coach can work with any type of business, not just uh, custom home builders. But uh, that leads sure. me to the next question, too, which is now you've been developing an app that helps the home building process. You've also been approached with a TV show opportunity, too. So why don't you talk a little bit about those two opportunities? Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, both those are uh, – it, it's exciting to be part of all of this. Um, and the app kind of came out of – uh, working with uh, home builders and seeing the issues on uh, their job sites and saying that, you know, 
it, it, it became very clear very quickly that uh, the home builder is really as good as the contractors and their, you know, their sub trades on site. Um, you know, they kind of are at the mercy of uh, how well the contractors businesses are being run. So it's, it's getting kind of in behind the scenes of the contractors that are on site and saying, if that business isn't well run itself, you're going to run into a lot of problems, a lot of scheduling issues, overlaps, not having product on site on time because they don't have the processes and systems in place. So no matter how good the home builder got, it it is apparent that every contractor within that uh, system has to be as good or things are going to fall off the table. So, so we created an app that ultimately uh, allows the home builder to start rating the various contractors on a customized list of things that they want to look into. You know, for example, whether it's safety or, you know, quality or scheduling or timeliness or, um, you know, no matter what the, 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 um, the thing is that the home builder wants to analyze, um, they can set that up in the app and then give a rating to any of the contractors that are on site. In turn, all of the contractors have the ability to give a rating to the home builder. And the home builder also can uh, affect the contractor's world. So uh, these two intersect, and at the end of the day, both of them need to help each other with the outcome of the whole job, which we refer to as one ecosystem. So by having an app that allows us to kind of monitor and measure what's going on on site, we are able to create a better ecosystem for all parties involved. And at the end of the day, everybody is more profitable, more effective, more efficient. Um, and uh, it, it's just a, a far better world if it's used properly, for sure. All right. What about the TV show? That's the kind TV of an show. interesting bonus. But yeah. um, obviously, you caught the attention of some interesting producers who see value in what it is you're doing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's extremely cool. So we're meeting with um, uh, the producers actually next week. Um, they have uh, had a teaser about, you know, this, the show and the show idea and what they want. And, and uh, it's, it's extremely exciting to be able to uh, possibly bring this to the mass of what we're doing. Um, but ultimately, what the show is all about is, you know, having this advisory um, and a business advisor get into kind of the back end of uh, all of these contracting businesses that go on on a, a custom home building site. So we follow the lives of the custom home builder and the sub trades of this builder, and and it's there's going to be all kinds of you know drama and and various things that are you know that's going really well on site that are falling apart on site, and all of it as a result of how well the businesses are being run, the systematized way that the businesses are being run. So there's going to be a lot of interesting characters on the show. Um, and I'm really excited to bring it to market. And at the end of the day, you know, some of our uh, clients, our home building clients, our contracting clients um, have opportunities to possibly become TV stars too, which is going to be pretty cool. I'm yeah, excited so, about it. Yeah, that's another good incentive for them to start working with you, which speaking of that, who's a right fit? Who should work with you? Who should get a hold of you right now to get a copy of your book and learn more about uh, Four Level Coach and Randy Stanbury and his team? So I would say, you know, our right fit client, first of all, they have to be highly ambitious, self-driven and action taking. Uh, if they are not that, they're probably not a right fit for us because nothing is going to change in your business. It doesn't matter what we do or say. Um, so you have to be highly ambitious, self-driven and action taking. Um, beyond that, you got to want more for your family, yourselves, your life and your uh, and your your business itself. But you know, the people that work for your business and the people around you. Um, and if you want that and you are a contractor, a home builder, you're, you're in that circle of builders, including architects, designers. Um, these are the people that we want to work with and that uh, are right fit clients for us. That's not to say that any other business is not or does not fit into this world and our mold. Um, but at the time uh, of, of this interview right now, uh, that's our focus and our right fits for sure. 
Good. So where do people go to learn more about you and what's an email address that they can use to reach out to you? So our website, you can check us out at uh, four, the number four, levelcoach.com. Uh, email address is simple. It's info at fourlevelcoach.com. And uh, phone number, uh, you can reach us. You can reach me um, at 866-737-3322. Uh, 866-737-3322. Um, and, uh, and if you want a copy of the book, um, you can go on to Amazon. It's, uh, it's on Amazon. Or yeah, you can email me at uh, info and just request a book, uh, info at Four Level Coach, and be happy to get one out to you for sure. Great. Well, Randy, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for the info. Great uh, backstory. I'm really excited to hear more about uh, the TV show, the app, the book, and the work that you're doing with Home Builders and Trades. So, well, without uh, further ado, this is Ask an Expert on Entrepreneur. Um, definitely make sure you leave a comment and share this on social or with anyone you know who might be interested in learning more about Randy and what he's doing with Four Level Coach. Cool. Thanks for having me, Mike. Appreciate it. You got it.